Hi, welcome to episode number five of Hugh's Startup Vlog. Really should be episode number six, but I didn't put out a video yesterday. Not out of laziness, I really wanted to do it, but I just had really not a lot of new information to update with. I covered most of what was going on on Sunday. So as for today, still trying to get the website to work. I do have the virtual machine up and running, but it is not serving the web page. Um, no idea what's going on. It seems to be the same kind of error that I was having before. I would get into the details. I don't want to bore you guys though. Um, at the same time, I do think that the technical aspects of getting this off the ground could be useful to keep track of. So. I think what I might do is create a companion blog, just sort of a technical diary where I outline the various problems I'm running into and the eventual solutions once I get to those. Um, so yeah, today I'm just going to be plugging away on that. I just ordered a selfie stick uh, that balances videos um, and avoid shakiness so hopefully these angles will get better pretty soon it is awkward to record this um, while holding it up in your hands and also just finding a spot to record privately is trouble I'm in a parking lot right now because this is all that I could find to get away and record in peace. I'm sure as I continue, I will get more comfortable with talking in public into a video camera, but right now it's difficult. So I do spend a lot of time looking for a spot. There weren't any open phone booths at, uh, at work bar, so I have to resort to this. Anyway. Let's see, what else is going on? I am considering buying Soylent, the controversial meal replacement supplement. And I mean, that does kind of turn me into a stereotype um, of the developer who is just so busy that he doesn't have time for real food. But I am not making very healthy eating choices right now. I typically will just grab fast food, pizza, burgers, chicken wings, whatever's nearby so that I can be fed and then get back to work. And I want to be healthier. That's a personal goal of mine. I also think that eating healthier will make me more productive. So that has an effect on work as well. So. I am going to try that out and I hear it's disgusting but you know what I like the theory behind it I like not having to worry about making a food decision all of the time and that doesn't mean that I won't eat real food ever again it just means that it will be a special occasion when I do I, I have read stories about how people um, don't do so well when they first start out on it. They maybe get sick before they get better. Um, but hopefully that doesn't happen, or if it does, hopefully it's a, just a small window. And yeah, I'm gonna see how that goes. I was up early today. I took a walk today, so that's just more health conscious choices that I'm trying to make not just for myself, but for the company as well, because I need to be at my best if I'm going to make this thing succeed. Something else I'm thinking a lot about right now is just how I'm going to make money. Even if I were to work on this open source project, Red Blue, that I've been working on, and even if I were to get the main product out of the door, that wouldn't necessarily be bringing in income right away. So right now I am toying around with the idea of creating a different product, a completely unrelated product, probably a video course on 
um, development on front end web development because that is one of my specialties and there are a lot of new technologies out right now that I know people will want to learn how to use for in order to get jobs so I think that's a surer bet for making money in the short term and that would help if, if it were to be successful or, or even just moderate, moderately successful that could keep me afloat and just allow me more time to work on Red Blue. And it's not that I'm in danger of running out of money yet, but I do want to take measures to prevent that from happening. Of course, the drawback there is that it would not be a simple undertaking. It would likely take a while to build that product and it would distract me from what I'm supposed to be doing but I do have to weigh that against the upside the financial possible financial upside so who knows I I'm probably gonna give that a shot and it's not that I don't believe that I can make money from red blue it's just that I haven't quite figured that out yet so I guess I am just a little torn um, on what to focus on because I am I probably could come up with a few different monetization uh, out of the box monetization strategies if I really thought about it but so far nothing has struck me so probably have to just meditate on that a little bit all right that is it for now uh, thank you for tuning in and I will see you tomorrow